Who goes? Anybody tries to come in here without Howe's say so, we get to do what we like with them. I think we finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. Enemy ahead. Watch out. Better than later. My love? On it. All right. Right. You're pathetic! Oh. As you wish. Ask me anything. do that for you. Be careful! 
No Make more! Off I go. All right. right. <coughs> they won't know what hit them. <coughs> to kill something. I'll get on it. As you like. Don't leave me here. Get me out of here. Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Then my... my father didn't send you? I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd. Of the Dragon's Peak Bannon. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Then I have no question about why you would come, Warden. For it is your men who have suffered the most here. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And, I assume, the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Bannon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. Then there is a Landsmeet after all. How said the Earl of Rickliffe was dead and the Landsmeet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please, I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. Push 
I'm back. Uh, Make up. Reserve us. Stand still. I'll get on it. Right. Uh, right then. Uh, 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 time to taste. Uh, I'm not too, uh, too incompetent. Uh, it's embarrassing. I'll get you a ladder so you can get off my back. Month is it? Are you some enemy of our Lurians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Dead. Then who's ruling? His son, Vaughn. He struck me down and I woke up here. People were so angry, they, they were thinking of petitioning the king. There have been many changes since they caught me. I need to find out what happened. I need to get home, or flee the city. I... I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. They said to retreat. The horn sounded, and we turned, and then the screams. We rode, and they screamed, and screamed, and... <sighs> Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them, too. They died, and we left them in the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. Safe? Is there a safe? Perhaps next door? All right, all right. Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, well, the Grey Warden. I must say I'm surprised Eamon would condone you invading my castle and murdering my men. Is he losing faith in the persuasive powers of his land's meat? <laughs> the traitorous bitch has you under her thumb. Anora does love games. I'm surprised she'd play with the likes of you. You should have left when you had the chance, Warden. Slunk off to the Anderfels to hide with the rest of your kind. This landsmeet is a farce. Loghain will triumph, and you will die. Something... is coming. Oh.
my way. Make it have under a stay. No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? I, I I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You... Aren't one of the Tern's men? He sounds like he's in lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... Uh, I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. Alf Stanner is a, a far better man than I would have been, but I... I don't remember how I came to be here. The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him, but the Ten's men took him from me and brought me here. Yes. He destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. Give this ring to my sister, Alfstanna. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. Hmm. Who's there? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. I'm Vaughan Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim. It's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. 
As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the elven uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. You know how elves are. Every now and then they start to think they're people, and you have to put them back in their proper place. What? Come back! When I get out of here, I'll find you, you bastard. All right, all right! I'll get on it. Got it. Say the word. Someone's here. Look, you didn't say nothing. Call the watch! We've got... Oh, Great. And I wanted to stop for lunch, too. Uh, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, it is done. My thanks. Funny. Very funny. We must go quickly and avoid notice. If Hal's people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Don't be ridiculous. The Queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. What? Sir Catherian! Praise the Maker you're here! This brigand tried to kidnap me! Unbelievable. Bring them down! Loghain wants the Warden, dead or alive! Can I get you Be a ladder careful. so you can get... I may have done a terrible thing. May have? How can there be any doubt? What in Andraste's name has happened? Are you all right? The Wardens have been captured. 
by Sir Calthrian, to whom our lady here handed us all on a platter. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is, how to free him? Surely you mean them, Your Highness. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Calthrian will take him to Fort Draken. Getting inside will be no small feat. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. I've been worse. I'll be better still when we get out of here. I hope you have a plan. Ooh, is it just me, or did I do really badly back there? Got it. Help! Someone, help us! My friend is dying! What's the matter with you? Go oh, ahead. trying to be tricky, are we? Uh, can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I'll get on it. As you wish. Oh, what right. is your command? His name are you? <laughs> hey! I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Only had it a month, and already this armor doesn't fit. I got to lay off the mince pie. What's the password? <sighs> Blighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. I'll get on it. Maker's breath. I should have been made a corporal by now. Hey, are you relieving me? It's about time. Good. Mind the blighted chain mail. The commander will skin us both if he finds any rust. What's this? Ah! You must be the new recruits we were expecting. You're late! The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. I almost didn't make it out of the mess today. Forgot the... Did you need something? Thank the Maker. What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> is there some problem? So the Assistant Quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. The Quartermaster got chewed out by Tern Logan, and then he chewed out the Assistant. And now to get back at us for landing him in trouble, the Assistant Quartermaster won't give us our blades. 
and you can't pass inspection without a regulation sword. He's down the hall in the armory. Make her help us. <coughs> Undressed a secret girdle. He's gone! Well, don't just stand there. Get your blade and let's report to the Colonel before he gets back. So, you think you're ready to go on your first patrol mission, do you? That's what I like to hear. You there! Yes, sir. Stand up straight. You're a soldier in the King's army, and the King's own men don't slouch. And you? Yes, sir. Stop fidgeting. You can fidget on your own time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Kiss arse. You there, Blondie. Uh, yes, sir. What's the one thing a soldier can't do without? What do I tell him? Discipline, sir. Hmm. You're not as dumb as you look. See to it you all act like soldiers of Ferelden out there. I expect a lot of you back here by sunup. Now get out of here, and make her watch over you. Password? Uh, rabbit. I think. Going on your first patrol, are you? Good luck. Stay Got sharp it. out there. Can Good I get you a ladder there. so you can get off my back? All right, all right. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feared the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. Uh, am I missing something? You are not. It seems the entire purpose of my disguise completely escaped the Grey Warden. Thankfully, no harm was done in the end. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. You will need ammunition come the Landsmeet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. 
But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already Queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite... Spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denaran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Logan is the problem at hand, yes. We need to do all we can to erode his support before we call the Landsmeet. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Logan. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Caelan and Honora would secure the succession. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Honora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. 
Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record, but there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the dark spawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance or maybe instinct which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them, and it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad, and very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight Darkspawn like you and me, but they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Now's better than later. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I realize that my... actions at Howe's estate may not have painted me in the best light. For that, I apologize and hope that we can start again. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy. Yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Then that is how it must be. I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes, 
It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king, or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think of what I could do for your companions. I trust I have made my point. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I'll tell you this, my father must be stopped. Once he is kept from the throne, if it should fall to Alistair, then I will be content. Then I wish you...